You also question uh, the goalkeeping at half time, the first goal which Jesus scored. What about Ramsdale? What about his role in the goals which Leicester scored? I thought both goalkeepers were poor today, in all honesty. Um, it's, it's hard to sit here and criticise as a goalkeeper, but you, you can't defend the goalkeeping today. Ward, with his communication skills, with his back four, they didn't look to be comfortable and confident at all. This is the own goal, uh, wins now, the header there. Wh why do you find Ramsdale a bit suspect here? As Saliba heads the ball, you look at Ramsdale's position, he's in what you call no man's land. So as the defender's coming back, I think the, he looks up and he sees the goalkeeper in the corner of his eye and he's not expecting his goalkeeper to be there because he shouldn't be that far up unless he's coming for the ball, the through ball, which it isn't his ball. So he's gone too high up. The, the defender still over there looks up, hopes his goalkeeper's back and he can head it back to him quite simply. But Ramsdale's ended up in no man's land and he's caused the defender a problem. Listen, it was a mistake by the defender. He shouldn't, he, if you're going to head it, head it wide. But he's looked up and the goalkeeper was in a position where he got caught out. And this is the second goal. I mean, it was good interchange by Leicester. This was at the point where they're having good play. Zinchenko gets beat far too easily for me. But if you stop there, he shouldn't be beaten from there. There's no way that a goalkeeper of his level can get beaten from there. And he, he, we, we see goalkeepers making saves with different parts of their body, just getting the legs down, getting the legs in the way. But when the one 2 is played, he slips him in. And when you look there, there's, you think there's almost no, there's no angle, there's nowhere that he could put the ball other than through his goal, through the goalkeeper's legs. He's just slow to react and slow to get down. You see it from behind the goal, it's even worse from the next angle. When you actually look at the ball between him and the defender, he can't get beaten there. Well, I think the goalkeeper, Ramsdale there, tries to clear that with his right leg and completely misses it. Just gets I, it wrong. Yeah, I think he just gets it wrong. I really do. I think, I think it's, right, as Paul said, right between his legs. But if you have a look, if we could slow that down and watch it from behind, he tries to move his right leg across, and I think it's just too late. It's gone. I think he, I think he tries to just push it away with his, uh, with his right foot and completely misses it. OK, well, let's take a look again. We are going to try to roll well, just in slow motion. Paul's a goalkeeper, so he well, he's the he'll expert know. I'm here. quite happy if he tells me I'm wrong, but I'm, I'm sure when I saw this, I thought there was right leg movement and he tries to play it out for a corner. Madison's got no right to hit that, to, to, to get that in the goal. Yeah, he goes with it with his, with his right leg yeah. and he gets it wrong. He's just slow. He's, he's slow in the reaction. Ian Acho here does really well. Zinchenko gets caught out and Madison just puts his foot through it. He just tries to hit the target and cause the goalkeeper a problem. Was he slightly unsighted, but the ball was with his defender in the way? I'm just trying to. Play no, there's there's no excuse here. for that. No, he's, okay. he was just late on it. He, he saw it late. It was, it was hit with pace. There's one thing that's beaten him it's the pace on the ball. Mm. He can't get beaten from there. I mean, it, it's, he's got, there's a yard either side of him where where they, he could potentially go in. So when the ball's gone through his legs there, he, he, he can't get beaten there. Um, he's been done by pace, he was slow to react, and it, it wasn't a good day for goalkeepers today. Well, what about the, the first of uh, the second half goals for the Gunners? Uh, the miscommunication, I think, is what you said, but what about just the basic handling from Ward, which allowed Shaka to capitalise and score? Yeah, I mean, the, 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 they said in commentary that the, the, the defender put him off. But when you look at it, he's made a decision, he's come, and the decision that he's made is the correct decision to come. But then he goes with one hand, which you, you wonder, if, if you can only get one to hand to it, or you think you can only get one hand to it, you punch the ball. In that situation, if, if he then catches the central defender out the corner of his eye and thinks, I can't catch this, you don't then try and catch it in one hand, you put your fist through it and you put, punch the ball away. He's, just, he's, made the, he's made the right decision to come, and then it's just a, a comedy of errors. There's, there's no excuse for that, really. He's, he's, he's just dropped the ball. Did you ever catch ball one-handed? Um, I know Schmeichel did. Schmeichel and someone did. recently yeah. did, I think, in the championship last weekend. And but did you ever you, do that? You do when you're in you're high in confidence okay. and things are going well. I mean, this is his second game as first choice goalkeeper, mm. and I think there was areas in the game where you could see the line of communication between him and his defence. It wasn't there. You covered every game for Arsenal last year, Nigel. What about Martinelli? What about his finish here? Because on his day, there's not many more natural finishes than this young Brazilian. No, the one thing I would um, say about uh, Martinelli is that his high energy, his individual ability is incredible. But at times, he just I think Arteta wants him just to slow down and relax for the final finish. And I said to you, didn't I, the one thing that this boy needs is more goals. If he gets more goals, then, you know, his level of performance is just going to go higher. And higher. He, he excites the Arsenal supporters with what he can do. And you're just saying to him, come on, give me, give me 12 goals a season. That's really what you're, you, you know, that's what you really want from him. Uh, but that was a superb strike. Take a, one more little clip, uh, take a look at it.
at Ward once again. Yeah. I feel like we're putting goalkeepers really <laughs> under the microscope, and it's not just because you're here, Robbo, but it's just how the game dictates what we did, what we discuss post match. This was what final five-ish minutes or so. The missed kick from him. If you're looking at this, do you think they can proceed for the rest of the season, the 36 games remaining, not including cup games, with him as their number one? I think they're in a situation where they have to. You saw the interview that Brendan Rodgers did before the game, and he was asked about the transfers, and he was asked about the players that are incoming. He said he'd love to strengthen his squad, he'd like to bring players in, but the club are in a situation where they're not allowing him to do that, he can't do that. So I think in that situation, he's, he's going to have to go with Danny Ward. Uh, he's, he's got a lot to prove between now and the end of the season. Brendan Rodgers has backed him. He said that he's always seen him as a number one goalkeeper. But like I said to you, the, the lines of communication there, where he, he came out to clear that ball, there should have been clear communication between him and his defenders. If that was Schmeichel, he would have had a big, loud shout. The defender would have stepped out of the way and he would have cleared the ball. And he would have, he miskicked it because he didn't have the space to execute the technique that he wanted to do. His defender was on top of him. The line of communication wasn't there. He, he should have screamed, shouted, that's his ball, the defender moves out of the way, and then he can clear it. There's some experienced keepers on the bench at various clubs. Tom Heaton, who you were teammates with, uh, Asmir Begovic, I think he's still at Everton, isn't he? So mm. there's options there. Maybe you, I think you're younger <laughs> than Buffon, and he's still playing I th I th in Italy. I think my days of my back of, of, with goalkeeping have, have gone. Um, but you say about the experienced goalkeeping, you look at some of the likes of Ben Foster, you know, goalkeepers that are out of contract. Mm. And if that is a situation that doesn't get any better for Leicester, then it might be an area that Brendan Rodgers has to look at and go into the market of goalkeepers that are out of contract.